I'm going to just begin, it, begin by asking about what it was about the Cats musical and this story that made you want to tell it on the big screen. I mean, it all started at eight years old, being taken by my parents to Cats in the first year of its run, and I was just completely blown away. And I insisted they bought the cassette of the album and we played it in the car till it wore out. Um, so I'm here today because of that experience I had when I was eight and how amazed I was. And it was very groundbreaking to get the time in theatre terms, what they were doing, what Trevor Lyne was doing. Um, and I kind of often think, you know, imagine if I could go back in a time machine and say to my eight-year-old self, you're going to direct the movie this one day, I would have, it would have blown my mind. And, and, and the fact that I did it with Angela Webber by my side, who created the original musical, uh, and he wrote a new song for it with Taylor Swift, I mean, it's, it's been a, uh, an amazing journey from then. I interviewed Francesca uh, the other day, yeah. and we were speaking about, she mentioned Cat School. Yeah. And I became just really fascinated by this idea of Cat School. I was wondering if you, you popped in, because I've got this idea of all of them dressed up as cats, just doing maths and yeah, science I mean, and stuff. My greatest, my greatest regret is I should have created like a Cat School university, <laughs> timed with release, and, and, and uh, everyone could have you know, come enrolled on, at Cat School across the nation. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, everyone went to Cat School. It was started on day one of rehearsals. It ran for 12 weeks of rehearsals. It ran throughout the shoot, and everyone, whether it was Judy Dench or Taylor Swift, uh, all, all the dancers went, and, and it was it was all about the challenge of how do you, as a human, inhabit the feline so that you, you know even when you're not dancing, there's still that sense of um, feline touches. And what was great for me is to see how different dancers do it, so, you know, or different actors. So Frankie Hayward is one of the greatest dancers in the world. I mean, just the way her body is always cat-like is incredible. And then and then. Judy Dench and Ian McKellen found their own ways as actors to do it. So it was great seeing the way different people interpreted. Yeah, because I mean, it's an incredible cast. I mean, obviously, the, the ensemble is fantastic. And, even, and there's, there'll be some actors, you know, like the likes of Idris Elba or Dame Judy Dench, that you can sort of, you know, that they can just get the job done. But you're dealing with some newcomers, but they're not newcomers in a sense that they're all Taylor Swift, Jason Derulo, Francesca. Mm. They're, they're performers. They've mm. been performing for years. Yeah. But to this medium, they're quite new. I was just wondering about manage, managing the kind of the most, some of the most experienced actors on the planet mm. with some of the sort of most recent. But I think that was the thing that was most exciting was was how you could take people who had tremendous talent in one discipline and find they had this, these incredible talents in other disciplines. So I mean, Francesca Hayward, who plays Victoria, you know, principal ballerina of the Royal Ballet, one of the world's top dancers who'd never acted in her life. I mean, she on screen, she's a movie star. I mean, and that was clear from day one. And she holds the camera with the kind of power that a Judy Dench or Neil McKinnon was, you know, it was extraordinary. And she sings. And then as you say, you know, Taylor Swift, who's um, you know, one of the world's great performers. Um, she's acting on film, so she, you know, as you say, I'm, I, you know, get someone who's very experienced, but uh, but but is doing this particular thing for the first time, and and and, and, and was so brilliant at it. So I mean, I, I and then you, you know, Judy Dench, and Ian McKellen are singing, and I even got Judy Dench dancing in one scene. So 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 I I thought it was really great to sort of see how actually people often have talents that are undiscovered, and 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 giving them this chance. I. I Generally, I w the, the general feeling was I was impressed by how much people could do always and how people could do things that they weren't recognised for. And that was really exciting. I was wondering too, I mean, uh, uh, Judy Dench and everyone, they were, they, when they're performing, they, they, a lot of emphasis is put on the actors and how they can get into the, into the role of the character when it can be quite tricky with motion capture and green screens. They have to try and pretend they're in a different place. How is it as a director? Because you're looking around at this big room which has got lots of green screens, actors... Oh, no, you're wrong. Them. I mean, most of the time you, you're looking around at a vast set. I yeah. mean, we built all the props oversized, all the set, the only the only green screen environments were Trafalgar Square at the end and Piccadilly Circus, because they're just so vast. Yeah, yeah. How do you build those three times scale? It would be mad. Um, so so even though there was, um, uh, you know, digital technology used in the character creation, I wanted to shoot it as much as I could as a conventional movie. So 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 we built everything for real. I was just a follow up. I was just going to say how, how, how much amazing it must be to see it all come together. Then when you when you watch it now back. Yeah, and and I'm I'm just putting on the finishing touches on it on it on it now. And the best part of visual effects is when you get that moment of wonder where suddenly something comes to life and and this thing you've dreamed of all this time suddenly happens in front of you. Brilliant. Well, thanks Thank so much. You. That is. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.